I'm Mark Cowan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Rolling out a brand new video series today about nutrients and nutrient control. And I'm not going to be doing this video series alone. I'm going to have help by Dr. Tim Hovenek. Now, If you don't know who Dr. Tim is, he's the man behind Dr. Tim Aquatics. And if you ask anyone who knows their stuff in the industry, they're all going to say that Dr. Tim is the man. Dr. Tim has a PhD in evolution and marine biology from the University of California, Santa Barbara. For the past 17 years, Dr. Tim has run Dr. Tim's Aquatics and has countless public aquariums as clients, including the Georgia Aquarium, SeaWorld, Disney, Monterey Bay Aquarium, and Sea Life. I like Dr. Tim. I've been dealing with him, buying his products, using his products successfully, way back from when I got started with Mr. Saltwater Tanks. And I've always had success with his stuff. He's taught me some stuff along the way that I never really thought of, some of which I'll walk you through in this video series. So thanks Dr. Tim for being part of this journey and thanks everyone for watching. Now, when I say nutrients, what do I mean? Well, look, I'm really talking about nitrates and phosphates. These are the building blocks of life, especially phosphates and coral and fish need them to live and to grow. But here's the thing about nutrients. The conversation on them has completely changed and here's how it's changed. Back 10, 15 years ago, the consensus on nutrient was you gotta be zero, zero across the board, zero nitrates and zero phosphates. Someone would get on a forum, including me, and I'd say, hey, things don't look quite right on my tank. Why? And they say, well, what are your nutrients? And he'd say, well, I'm at two nitrates and 0.02 phosphates, and everyone would be like, ah, oh, nope, not gonna happen. You gotta get to zero to zero. Now, fast forward in these days, Hearing you need to raise your nutrients is nothing uncommon when it comes to suggestions on message board and Facebook groups. But even back in the day, Dr. Tim was schooling me saying, this whole low nutrient thing, it isn't it. So we've come a long way in terms of nutrients. The consensus now is higher nutrients are okay. Now I say higher nutrients and low nutrients, where do you actually wanna be with your nutrients? Well, here's what I'm aiming to fall out for as a baseline for most of my tanks. I wanna be nitrates, somewhere between three to eight parts per million. Phosphates, anywhere from 0.03 to 0.1 is okay with me. But there's a catch about that, which I'll talk to you about right over here in front of my tank. The catch with nutrients is they're a guideline. You have to learn to listen to your tank and know what it likes. So don't get caught up in the numbers thinking you have to hit them exactly. Look, if your tank is happy with five nitrates and one day they happen to come up to seven nitrates, it doesn't mean everything's going to fall apart and go to hell in a handbasket. In fact, my tank is happy at eight nitrates and 0.5 phosphates. You can hear those reefers now rolling over in their grave like, oh, 0.5 phosphates, oh, everything is going to die. Your SPS are long since dead. They don't stand a chance. Yeah, not so much. So those numbers I give you they are just a guideline. Learn to dance with those numbers and learn to find out what your tank likes. Don't get caught up in hitting them exactly. Now I just talked about my tank's numbers. Let's look at some of my clients' numbers to find out where their nutrients run out and how their tanks look. All right, so what if your nutrients are really high or really low? What do you do about it? 
Well, there's a couple different ways that you can manipulate your nutrients, and we're going to talk more about that in this video series. But first, I want to bring in Dr. Tim and do a deep dive on phosphates and nitrates, and then later on, we're going to talk about why one of the most popular nutrient export methods really isn't all that cracked up to be, as well as a nutrient export method that's been sitting in the wings, overlooked for years and years and years, and it can really supercharge your nutrient export. So with that, I'm going to go check in with Dr. Tim, make sure that he's uh, not drinking too many martinis in the hot tub. We'll be back next week with the next video in the nutrient and nutrient export series. Remember, those tank guidelines I gave you, test your tanks, find out where you are, write down your results, and they're just a guideline. Don't get caught up in hitting them. Don't try to manipulate anything just yet, because we're going to tell you what to do based on where your tank is and where you need to be. Till next time, I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank. Come and tell me half of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode. I think I'll go feed my fish. My nutrients look a little low. Thank <laughs> you.